Hi everyone in cloud computing and welcome to episode 24 of the Cloud Computing Training Show with Brad Nelson, an internationally recognized and world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader, David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, FinTech and AI. In this week's show, David and I will be talking about the New Jersey-based Cognizant announced it's setting up a $100 million foundation to help train people for technology jobs across the country. Hi Dave, it's great to see you on the Cloud Computing Training Show again. Yeah, it's great. To, it's great to be back, and this is a this is a great story of really a company giving back, and also really an idea that should be spreading across the world right now. Hundred percent on that one, absolutely, and it leads me on nicely to the opening question: Do you think that free training such as this will pay dividends for corporate America? It always does. It's really it comes back as study after study. It comes back a hundredfold. As the reality is that people are going to get trained. Uh, in a particular technology. And I, I suspect it's not all cloud that Cognizant is doing. It's probably Excel and PowerPoint and accounting systems and general ledger, things like that. Um, then they're gonna be able to fill positions that they're having trouble filling right now. And so the technology oriented positions, people are good with technology are typically gonna be few and far between whatever technology that's there. And the reality is that there's people who need to understand how to build websites, people who need to understand how to deal with social media marketing. People understand how to deal with uh, with um, cloud-based systems and some of the basic operations, cloud ops, the ability to deal with existing uh, traditional systems, the ability to use, you know, COBOL DB2, which is still a, in demand, believe it or not. And the reality is we don't, the schools aren't doing a very good job in training people for a career. They're getting people kind of ready get the basics going. And when you go to college, you kind of get whatever they think they need to teach you, but it usually doesn't reflect as to what the real life requirements are out in the space. And this will kind of fill in the gap. So in other words, if you're poor um, or don't have the money to do the training or don't have the money to go to college, you know, take advantage of these programs. There's a bunch of them out there. And either whether it's CBT, computer-based training, or this is, I think, gonna be classroom-based training and on, on hands-on training, um, you're only going to be putting money in your bank for each class you go to, and a lot of money, you know, typically. They're going to be able to double, triple, quadruple their salaries in a very short period of time once they're able to get the basic skills to get the job and get out there and prove themselves in, within an employer. So this is absolutely a good investment. Um, every other company should be doing A lot of other big technology companies are doing this as well. But uh, we need to start thinking more on how to empower people you know, to go out there and help themselves and make a career, you know, versus, you know, uh, in, empowering them to, you know, take a handout or, you know, you know, get on welfare or something else that has a tendency to kind of uh, uh, diminish the soul. Um, people want to be independent and want to make make their own way. And this is giving the tools to do that. It really is, isn't it? And it has a real, uh, the, the university in Charlotte is actually called the Goodwill University, probably for the, the very reason that they're, they're offering this free digital literacy and advanced technology training. Um, and I think it's one of the things that's really important is offering, offering it to the people that, that really do need a, a hand, you know, and, and put back on a, a direction that's going to be good for them and their family, but also, you know, putting something back into the economy from a point of view of self-worth of what they can they can get out of the training and and offer a, an employer, as it were. And I, I believe it's people that you know are lacking the education, or you know they've got a criminal records, so there's barriers in society automatically for these people as such. But I mean, the fact that they're offering these opportunities is is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And by the way, if they have a criminal record, they should look into becoming a CEO. So, I mean, obviously those jobs are open for those guys. Um, just joking. But, you know, the reality is, is that uh, uh, there's no judging in the technology field. And I believe in giving everybody a chance. Um, and so, uh, you know, people make mistakes. They go off the rails. Um, you know, they, they get uh, life issues that occur. Some of them, you know, are bad choices. Some of them are bad, bad luck. And uh, but you should always give people the tools to pull themselves up by the bootstrap. Now, I don't say we push them up. Um, and I'm not saying we push them to get into class because I think they're not they're not going to be able to learn there. But by the way, we have training. We have computer based training. We can teach you Excel. We can teach you PowerPoint. We can teach you, you know, basics of Amazon Web Services and some of the hotter skills. And by the way, we can place you. Uh, we can you can work at a nonprofit that we have a relationship with. Probably not at a huge wage, but you know, probably much better. You're gonna be able to make uh, 
as a barista or working at McDonald's or, you know, some of the other low skilled jobs that are out there. And then it's up to you to make a career out of it. And to be honest, I run into a ton of people that, that kind of came in through this way. So in other words, didn't go to college. Um, they went to, you know, basic training, which occurred, you know, in the community centers, got interested in technology, and they just got a thirst for it. And by the way, they self-taught themselves, you know, into an Amazon certification, into a reserve certification. And they're able to, with very little or no skills, you know, increase their skills rapidly and therefore increase their employability. And, and I, I just, you know, applaud people like that. And when I run into them, I'm much more impressed with them. You know, they end with somebody who went to Harvard or Yale, you know, and probably, uh, you know, had the money to do so, things like that, and probably had all good luck, you know, versus somebody who got kicked a few times and got knocked down a few times, was able to bring themselves up and around. And I think that goes to the human spirit. You know, we got to be able to give people the opportunities to be great. We can't make them great. We can lead, it, lead them to water. We can't make them drink, that sort of thing. But uh, the more of these training programs are out there, I think the more we're going to get people out of poverty, we're going to get people elevated elevated, we're going to get, you know, more taxpayers out there and more people that can contribute to the creative and innovative uh, uh, technology, you know, that's that's going on right now. And in other words, participate in the revolution. Yeah, absolutely right. And, and they really should. And I think once they've had the mindset change uh, and they're given that opportunity to focus and that self-belief, it, it, it does take on a whole new animal for them uh, to, to, you know, enabling them to make better choices and the right choices and, and to be feel good about themselves, which is really important. I think the chief executive of good, the Goodwill University in Charlotte, uh, Chris Jackson, has actually said that there's going to be an additional 4,000 people that will be able to receive this training over the next three years. So, you know, that, that's a great figure, isn't it? So the opportunity is out there for thousands of people. Yeah, I mean, um, you can train that many people. Uh, they're gonna, there's going to be jobs for every one of those people out there who want to go out and get them. I mean, uh, uh, you know, lots of people in the high tech business, they're, you know, hanging up with the higher level jobs and the architecture and the database to DBA jobs, things like that. And the uh, lower level jobs, the entry level jobs are going wanting uh, right now. And we don't seem to be getting the kids out of college with the skills, like we say, the skills to pay the bills um, because, well, they know a lot about a lot of things they don't know about specific technologies and things like that they need to do to get the job versus somebody who's going to be i'm focused on excel i'm focused on um uh, admin i'm focused on linux administration i'm focused on a particular thing that we need and they can get into a niche job and build a nice career and they can go anywhere they want after they spend a few years doing what they're doing i mean everybody in the technology field that came from my generation and certainly myself you know i spent you know, 10 years as a programmer. Now, before I started moving up the you know hierarchy into architecture, into DBAs, into data scientist stuff, and, you know, a lot of the thing in cloud computing, and everything I got involved with uh, since then. But it's really getting people a foothold into an organization to kind of catch the passion for what they're looking to do. And, and I, I don't know if you talk, talk to a lot of developers, but every one of them out there, coders, like I used to be, I mean, the day, uh, you know, an eight hour day seems like it's one hour because you're sitting there solving a problem and your mind's in, involved in this particular thing. And I think once people figure that out, that work can be fun, work can be something that's not drudgery, you're not going out and digging ditches, you're typing for a living, talking for a living, thinking for a living, um, there's nothing like it. And you don't need a college education to do that, to be successful at it. Just look at the number of people out there that uh, don't have them and they're doing just fine, leading the market. Yeah, they really are, Dave. And great, it's a great insight into that. And I really hope that this show goes out to enough people to for people to pay attention to that. The, you know, the shift in mindset can make a, a huge difference. So thanks for being part of the training show as always this week. Always a pleasure. Go get trained. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed watching this week's training show as much as we enjoyed recording it. You can get David on Twitter, which is at David Linthicum. I'm also on Twitter, which is at Nelson underscore Hilliard. I'm also on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I think that's about everything. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed watching. And remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. Thanks again for watching.